More pigs in Maine are getting sick and many of them are dying. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Costa and I'm Zach Blanchard. The Maine Department of Agriculture, Conservation and Forestry has issued a health advisory to farms, agricultural fairs and others working with pigs, recommending ways to keep their herds safe. News from Maine's Alex Haskell has been following this for us and spoke with a farmer. Alex, what do they tell you? Yeah, Zach and Chris, well, he's very concerned, telling me this disease can spread fast and easily. It's why he's taking extra precautions to keep his pigs healthy. All right, kids, I know. At Old Crow Ranch in Durham, owner Steve Sinisi is unloading some timid and jumpy new arrivals. I bring piglets in every month. Once again, he begins the balance of raising them and keeping them healthy, a routine he takes seriously. But I do have like a do not enter biosecurity area. Um, we do practice that, hence the reason I asked you guys, where have you been in the last 30 days with those shoes, right? Like, have you been to another farm? It's all to prevent the spread of illness to the pigs, a caution that's only grown in importance in recent months. In a health advisory, the Maine Department of Agriculture, Conservation and Forestry says in recent months, there has been an increase in reports of juvenile pigs with diarrhea, sometimes bloody, that become sick and in some cases die. The pigs come from multiple farms in Maine, one testing positive for the bacteria, Lasonia. It can cause a disease process called proliferative enteropathy and presents as chronic ill, you know, uh, weight loss, you know, ill thrift and, and diarrhea. Sinisi's pigs haven't been impacted. He says that's thanks to strict safety measures, but his way of life showing off his animals is a different story. We have another farm event in like a week and a half. This will be completely shut off to the public because upending this fragile operation is possible and any risk is just too great. It's a bigger game once a disease hits your farm financial, animal impact. Now, Sinisi tells me although there are antibiotics to treat and vaccines to help prevent illness, they're expensive. The main Department of Agriculture, Conservation and Forestry is waiting for some test results to come back on some pigs and expects to have that information next week. On the agency's website, you can find a list of recommendations for farms, pork producers, agricultural fairs and veterinarians. Zach and Chris. Yeah, a lot of fairs still to go in this uh, rest of this calendar. So thanks for that, Alex.